In this video, I'm about to show y'all the top list of the top 10 overpowered team to use in online gaming. And also, make sure I go crazy with the like button. And let me know who's missing on the top 10 overpowered teams to use in online gaming. And also, if you haven't checked these videos out, make sure you go to my channel to watch them. Number 10, you have to go with the Grizzlies because this team, people like to use them because they got John Morant. That dude definitely OP. You can't really stop him. It don't matter what defense you put on him. And you got Desmond Baines, a guy is one of the best set shot shooters in the game. And you got Steven Evans, a guy that could grab rebounds like crazy. I, I believe that his offensive rebounds are 99 and defensive rebound is like an 88. So if you miss a shot with John Morant and Desmond Baines and, and Jed Jackson, he gonna grab those rebounds and have a crazy putback whoever he wants to. Now in this game, when you use the Grizzlies, I'm telling this right now, you would not be disappointed because a lot of people like to use that team. And not only that, they, can sh they got shoes around them. They can play defense. Uh, guys like Brooks, Steven Adams, and Jed Jackson. And Jed Jackson, the guy that he need, he need a defensive stopper like him, you could put him on Giannis or any type of big man like LeBron James. Number nine, I got to go with the LA Clippers because they got three guys that can play defense at this position, guys like John Wall, Kawhi Leonard, and Paul George. The reason why I say they OP because a lot of guys, 90% of the time, if you play against them, that has the Clippers, they like to off ball, they don't like to on ball with Kawhi Leonard most of the time, so be careful with that if you play with certain teams. The only time you could break that out of it, if you use a team like the Bucks or the Lakers because you got LeBron James, Anthony Davis, or you got like Giannis, and Chris Milton. Now, you play with other teams like the Grizzlies, you might have a hard time because they like to off ball, off ball a lot with the Clippers. So, if you play against this team, they're very OP and they're very annoying to go up against because it's really it's very hard to blow by them. It's not like everybody has a Hall of Fame clamp breaker badge. So, they are very, very annoying playing against. So, be careful. Number eight, you have to go with the 71 Bucks because Guess who they have on that team? You got Oscar Robinson and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Basically, this team, is, it's not even fair that they in 10-3. I don't know why. I think it's the biggest mistake. This team is very OP to use, and you will see that team a lot. And a lot of people feel that this team is annoying playing against because 90% of the time in 10-3, they don't got no center that could slow that down against Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. So you got to create a double team or some type of trap against Kareem, or you got to play zone. That's the only way you can slow him down. You're not going to stop him. He's still going to get his buggers because that's how this game is made. But this team right here is very OP. And they are very annoying to play against. Especially you got a weak team and going against that team. And you're trying to rig up to the GOAT lead. Because it's very hard to play defense against Kareem. And sometimes Oscar Robinson because he's 6'5". And he's a great point guard. He can move like crazy. So be careful. Number seven, you have to go with the 76ers because you got Joel and B, one of the best centers in the game. And you got James Harden, one, one of the best playmakers in the game. And he got shoes around him, such as PJ Tucker. You got Ty Bo and T. Harris. And the rest of the guys come off the bench and shoes as well. Now, the problem with this team is that they so OP. When you play against this team, people like to off ball with Joel and B 90% of the time because his defense OP. He got gold defensive badges. And not only that, he got 99 interior defense, so you cannot afford to force a bad shot against him because you will miss 90% of the time. And be careful how guys like to ISO with James Harden because two things, you could five out with this team or you can ISO with James Harden all day long. He may not move as fast like he used to last year compared to this year, but at the same time, he's still lethal with his isolation moves. And knowing that he could still finish at the rim, he can shoot a three ball whatever you feel like it. He can make you fall. So be careful you play against the same because they're very OP. I put the Celtics at number six because this team is very OP to play against and to use. And not only that, you got Jason Tanner, a 95 overall. Finally, I've been saying it for years. You got Jalen Brown, a 90 overall. You got Marcus Smart, a guy that could lock down your favorite point guard, like, like Steph Curry and Dame Dollar. You know the rest. And you got Al Hoffa, the guy that can shoot the outside three. They changed his jump shot. Two things that make them overpower is that they defense. They defense, they defense, they defense. They're able to lock up your favorite players in the court. And, and not only that, if you need a stop, 
Those are the three guys you need to do it. Jason Tatum, Janet Brown, and Marcus Smart. And let's go, let's talk about the offense. Now, it's up to you. You wanna play four out, one in, or you can do five out and pull out Hofer at the five. So that way you're gonna ISO better with Jalen Brown or Jason Tatum. It's up to you. But once it, it, you get locked in with the five out, especially playing against a guy that uses five out with the Celtics, you gotta pick your poison to guard him one-on-one -on -one, cause you cannot bring no help at all. You cannot, you can bring some help, but you gotta learn how to bait. A lot of guys don't know how to do that. So they're in a lot of trouble. Number five, you have to go with the 2004 Lakers because you already know what time it is. You got Shaq and Kobe, you got Gary Payton, Carl Malone, and Rick Fox. Now, what makes them OP? Let's talk about their defense first. Gary Payton is a guy that will lock up your favorite point guards every time because you got gold badges on defense. That means he can steal the ball from you anytime he feel like it. He can play the passing lanes and he can lock up and he can test. It's called the challenger bash. That means that when you put your hands up, you're gonna force him to miss. So, and not only that, Corey Bryant got that too. The difference is that Corey Bryant got gold badges on defense as well. So he will lock up your favorite player too. And Rick Fox is the same thing. They all play defense at, after the perimeter. So you're gonna need that. And plus Shaq is so dominant in the paint, he able to play defense and he could score on you anytime he felt like it. I wish that he had a Hall of Fame postal roster, but they gave him gold, that's fine. But let's talk about Kobe Bryant. His jump shot is money, it's very fast and quick. If they decide to sag over, you can easily put it in their face anytime you feel like it. You gotta know how to shoot though. If you if you don't know how to shoot, make sure you practice. But this team is very OP and they're very annoying to go up against, especially guys like, like to off ball with Shaq. It is crazy. Number four, I had to go with the 2013 Heat because what makes them OP is that when you five out with this team, along with Chris Bosch at the five, they're very unstoppable to contain. And, and not only that, if you use LeBron James, LeBron James is a 99 overall. He got Hall of Fame badges in playmaking, defense, finishing, and shooting. So it's, it's very hard to stop him in this game, especially in a five out freelance. That makes them OP as hell because you got to pick your poison. So it's up to you, if you want an off ball, it's too late. You don't, you don't want to off ball that, trust me. You want to give up a lot of open threes. But sometimes they like to move in the five out, so you gotta make it move very quickly. So they're able to do that, you gotta go to the Bucks Freelance, or the Clippers Freelance, or you go to the Bucks Playbook and do ISO five out. It's up to you. But not only that, their defense is lethal as well. They got able to play defense. They got Bernie May coming off the bench, you got Mike Miller that can shoot, and their defense is on point, so. Use that team wisely. Number three, you gotta go with the Bucks because people like to cheese with them and you will see this team a lot of times in the ranked match. I don't know why. No, actually I do know why. Because 2K updating their heights. For, for example, Drew Holiday, they made him 6'5". I don't know when he's 6'5", he never been 6'5", so that's cheese. They made Giannis a seven feet tall and said 6'11". They made Chris Milton 6'8", or 6'7", something like that. So they made everybody tall. Oh, I forgot, Book Lopez, they made him 7-1. He's 7-1? So this team is very cheesy, and Giannis is really hard to stop. You will average about 30 points per game. Depends how you use them. But 90% of the time, you will score him going straight up in the paint and things like that. Number two, you have to go with the 96 Bulls because what makes them OP is that they could be toxic, very, very toxic with Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen. They don't have to play defense at all. So a lot of guys like to off ball with the 96 Bulls. I'm surprised that they don't pick this team that, that often. You don't really see that team that often if you play against them. But at the same time, if you if you get opportunity to play against them, watch out because they will off ball against you. I promise you. And not only that, Michael Jordan is OP. Yeah, well, you know what time it is. He, he can do everything he wants to on defense and offense. Then you got Scottie Pippen. His jump shot is fixed. His jump shot is very fast and you can time it. Number one, the 17 Warriors. What makes them OP is that they're the greatest shooting team in all time. Seth Curry got Hall of Fame shooting badges. Kevin Durant got Hall of Fame shooting badges. And Klay Thompson got Hall of Fame shooting badges. How, how do you stop that? Especially if you're not a use this team, it's over. You can do whatever you want to do. You can shoot in their faces, green in their faces. Sometimes you can make your whites with this team. They are very dangerous, man, I'm telling you. And annoying playing against. Chain doggy on lockdown, phone call three ways. I just pray that he find God.